welcome back for another video. Regardless of whether you're on a free hit or not, it's an important one today as we look at the players projected to score the highest in Game Week 32 and over the next 5 game weeks. If you'd like to follow this and other content on the channel every game week, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Before we get into it, as we approach the final stretch of the season, I strongly recommend becoming a Fantasy Football Scout member. You can join for only one month and benefit from the endless FPL tools available such as player comparison, projected points and custom data tables. All the stats I mentioned in videos come from my tables and I've made them public for you to use. On top of that, becoming a member supports the channel as well, so to try it out, click the link at the top of the description. Big thanks to Scout for their support. So let's get straight into it. No fixture for Brighton, Chelsea, Man City or Man United this week. Ramsdale's joint top of the projections with Allison, both with 4.5 points. Arsenal against rock bottom Southampton and Liverpool against 18th place Nottingham Forest and both playing at home. On a free hit you may actually want to avoid both these two in favour of outfield players given the quality of the Arsenal and Liverpool outfield assets. Not on a free hit, Alisson might be the best keeper for the run in from here though and he tops all keepers for points over the next five. While Guaita remains sidelined, Johnson's come in for Palace and has performed well. He's a proven quality from his time at West Brom and Crystal Palace are the informed side now enjoying a resurgence under Hodgson again. He makes perfect sense on a free hit, but not as a long term transfer if you don't have the chip active, just in case Guaita comes back in once returning from injury. Newcastle have disappointed from a defensive perspective recently, in fact they've kept just one clean sheet in their last 10 games. They're up against Spurs, which is a tough one to call given Spurs are out of form, but they have the quality to get a result. Trippy is the most sensible route into Newcastle's defence, no need to double up with Pope. The other goalkeepers are all avoids. Moving on to the top defenders for Game Week 32, and Alexander Arnold's back on top, rightfully so after an excellent performance against Leeds, picking up two assists and a dominant 6 1 win. Very unlucky not to keep a clean sheet, too. It was a big mistake from Kanate, giving the ball away just outside the box, which Sinistera punished. He should be a priority transfer. If he's still a Chilwell owner, then there's a very strong transfer path to consider there. Over the last six games, Nottingham Forest have conceded 81 crosses down their left flank and 44 down their right. 24 chances conceded down their left flank and 11 down their right, so the underlying stats are favourable for Trent and Salah down that side with apparent weakness there. If we pull up the expected fixtures for the remainder of the season, as a reminder, Liverpool doubling Game Week 34 in a couple of weeks as well, as do Newcastle most likely in Game Week 36 later on. So the likes of Trent and Trippier are season keepers and they both play this week. Arsenal are another side who have dropped off defensively recently, perhaps explainable by Saliba's injury, who is still out for this week. Gabriel second on the defender projections with 5.5 points. Sinchenko misses out due to the uncertainty on his minutes. Hopefully closer to the deadline, Arteta confirms that he is available for selection. We might get some training photos during the week as well. Over the last six games, Southampton have conceded 58 crosses down their right flank compared to 35 down their left, which could spell success for Sinchenko and Martinelli. Robertson is projected 5.2 points and it feels like he's due a haul and a double up in defence on the free hits very strong especially if you don't want to gamble on an attacker with Salah. Trippier is projected 4.3 points. Many free hit drafts are without him which is certainly a risk given his ownership but understandable given Newcastle's lack of clean sheets recently. White is actually Arsenal's top scoring defender and only Trippier has more points among all defenders. In phenomenal form recently with 2 goals and 2 assists in his last 6 games Perhaps the best of the bunch as far as Arsenal defence right now and he's the cheapest. Onto the midfielders and Salah's projected 8.2 points comfortably top. A priority transfer this week if you're not on a free here and if the chip is active for you then he's a staple of every draft. The Arsenal mids are debatable. If you haven't seen the Gamic 32 free hit video make sure you watch that after, it'll be on screen at the end. In that team we actually had all three Arsenal mids, the trade off being no defender and no Jesus. They've all got the capability to haul. Martinelli, Saka and Erdegaard are 1st to 4th and 5th top scorer midfielders respectively. The free hit is an opportunity to take a one-week punt like triple Arsenal mid, but hedge him with a defender or Jesus to free up a midfield spot is fine as well. Gagpo was on the score sheet against Leeds and he picked up an assist as well, got 80 minutes out. You'd imagine Klopp doesn't change the front three after such a good result, perhaps even an unchanged 11 against Forest. So you can make the case for one of Gakpo and Jota, along with Salah and Trent on a free hit. If you're not on a free hit, then I'd be more hesitant, as long term the minutes could be very shared, with Darwin, Diaz and Firmino all available options to Klopp, and all involved against Leeds off the bench. It's starting to feel like now or never for Leicester, home to Wolves this week and they sit 19th in the Premier League table, a win would take them outside. 
Madison has found his way back into some free hit drafts, a major disappointment over a good run of games recently. However, the next four are Wolves, Leeds, Everton and Fulham, so even outside of a free hit, he could come good still. Eze has returned in his last three games in a row now, three goals and one assist. He's projected 4.2 points home to Everton, a handy enabler on a free hit for only 5.5 mil. Elise is also 5.5 mil but doesn't make the projections this week, projected 3.8. Andrea sneaks in at the bottom with 4.1 points. We talked a bit about him in the free hit video yesterday where he was on the bench. Despite the absence of Mitrovic, they won 3 1 away to Everton last week, and Andrea should be on penalties for the time being. We saw him take one back in game week 15 while Mitrovic was out injured. If you're not on a free hit, he's not a bad transfer at all, and he does have a double game week 34, albeit a tough double against Man City and Liverpool. On to the forwards, and here's how the top projections look for Gaming 32. Jesus is top with 5.1 points. You can't really go wrong with the Arsenal triple up. One defender, one mid, and Jesus is fine. Or two mids and Jesus is fine. Even three mids is fine. Given the lack of strong forward options, he will be a popular pick for the three hitters. Solanke put up a surprise haul against Tottenham, a goal and two assists for a 15 pointer. Bournemouth for home to West Ham, and for only 5.5 mil, he's a perfect enabler. Watkins is likely to be another staple of all three hit teams with one blank in his last 12 games, looked so threatening against Newcastle, had one goal marginally ruled for offside and he'd racked up 1.18 XGI. Kane and Trippier are the two headaches for many three hit teams, do you swerve them for one week or play the effective ownership game and keep them? After all Trippier is the top scoring defender still and Kane is the second top scoring player in the game after Haaland. It feels like one that could backfire if you avoid both, but if it comes off then the rank gain is significant, as they'll be in pretty much all the non-free hit teams. If this video was useful, please drop it a like before you go, and thanks for watching. I read all comments, so leave one below. More FBL content to come this week, see you soon for the next one.